Hello and welcome to Around the House of Kay and Tom and today we're going to cook up a little simple uh, tuna salad here. Now we always like to use this wild plant uh, tuna here. This, it's, uh, I don't know if you can read that or not, 100% pole and line caught. And I'll tell you what, if you ever try it, you won't want to go back to regular tuna. But now if you don't have any of this, you can go ahead and use regular King of the Sea or whatever you have. King of the Sea was always real good to us until we found this. <laughs> so now we don't want to go back to anything else. We're going to use some celery. We'll use some eggs. We'll use an onion. We'll use some Heinz sweet relish. And some water because I'm going to do the eggs in the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. And so let's get started with it. Okay, now the first thing we'll do is dump this uh, water down this Ninja Foodie Deluxe here. Now this is a this is a one cup Pyrex uh, little bowl here. I always put it over the cup almost to the top. I don't like putting just one cup down in the Ninja Foodie. Now we'll put my little rack, my egg holder rack down in there. I'll put my eggs in. Now, for some reason or another, I've got to where I like it with the uh, big end up at the top. Like that. So, next thing we'll do. Okay, now we're going to put our uh, pressure lid on next. And you know, unless you're new, you line your arrows up here in the front, turn it clockwise so it stops. Come back here in the back and make sure your valve is set to uh, seal and not vent. Make sure it's in seal position. Okay, and then you come over here and turn on the power. And then you go over here, turn your little knob so it goes over here to pressure. Now set on 10 minutes. You don't want 10 minutes, so set this to where it's just flashing. You hit your time button down here and it starts flashing. And we'll go down to 7 minutes. Okay, and then you got to push your button to say start. Because if you don't push that button to say start, it's just going to sit there on that seven minutes and just keep on going. Now, while that's doing that, if you don't know, these little lights chase each other until it builds up enough pressure to where this little silver button right here comes up. And that locks it into position then. And it starts building up pressure. And so when it seals like that, then it starts cooking. And we'll get back. I'll let you know about how long that took, and we'll get back to it in a minute. Okay, now first I'm going to cut the ends off these, uh, off this onion here. Now it's easier for me to peel if I just cut it in half, although this one's trying to self peel, it looks like. Half like that, and there you can get a hold of it up here or down here, or whichever. And just go around like that, and you do the other one the same way. Okay, now I don't think everybody I've ever seen do these does them a little different, but you know, you do them the way you want to. To make them into little bitty pieces <laughs> without cutting your finger, without hurting yourself. Okay, now. Well, some people that's not fine enough, you know, so you do it like that. You know, so. And once you get in the middle here, you do need to slice them one more time when you come down on it like that. Just hit it again as you go. And we're about to get to the end here. So 
know you don't want to sit here and watch it do it two times, so we'll be back in a minute. Okay, now my little silver button popped up just now and that locked it into position so it can build up pressure and start cooking. And it just so happens that it took seven minutes for it to do it and it only took another minute for it to start counting down to seven minutes. So let's get back to doing it. We got a rush now. Okay, now I got the onion chopped up and I'm going to use a half a cup of that onion in my tuna salad. All right now I'm going to wash and uh, douse this uh, celery up here. Okay, now my eggs just finished here seven uh, or 44 seconds ago, so I'm going to go ahead and come up here and do a quick release on them. Yeah, it shouldn't take much more than a minute for them to go ahead and uh, release because we're going to have a whole lot of stuff in there, you know, so we'll see what it is in a minute. In the meantime, we'll start slicing up this uh, celery over here. Okay, now I've got it all washed good, and then I cut the ends off of it. We'll go slice it down the middle. Okay, now I'll start dicing this stuff up a little bit. Okay, now the pin just dropped so I can take the top off this uh, pressure cooker over here. Okay, now we're going to take this lid off, turn it counterclockwise, you know the drill, pick it up and turn it away from your face. See all that steam coming up? You don't want that to hit you in the face. And put it over there. I see I've got a couple of them cracked in here, but that's alright. Just keep me from cracking them when I take them out. <laughs> so, now we'll put them over here in this ice water. Okay, we'll take my hot hands gloves here and pick them up. And like I said, if it's not cracked, I'm going to crack it before I put it down that water like that, you know, because it does, from my experiments, it, has, it does help if they're cracked before you put them in the ice water. It helps when you get ready to peel them. So, there we go now. I'm set there just a second, long enough to cool off a second. Okay, now, I'm ready to peel them. Now, this one didn't do the best in the world. It broke. But it's peeling pretty good, as you can see. Just comes right on off. Just like that. Alright, now, we'll do the next one. Now, of course, after you finish peeling, you know, you just dunk them back down in the uh, ice water here and make sure all the shells off real good. And after you do that, you can go ahead and discard your ice water. Get that bowl out of the way. Okay, now we need to chop these eggs up. Okay, that's about it for chopping up the eggs. Now, a nice little step. <laughs> now, the next thing we're going to do is drain our tuna here. So, just, you know, the easy way, just crack it open like that. And and, and just turn it up and let it go into your sink. And take the lid off. You got strength enough to pull it off. <laughs> Just put it down in your bowl. And do the same thing with the X can. Well, that smells good. You see that? How good it looks. Hmm. Good stuff. <laughs> Don't want to come out. Now, 
Okay, now I'm going to take my handy dandy meat and potato masher here. And just break this all up. Oh! About to get away from me. Fish is still trying to get away. Now, okay, now we're going to take these two eggs that were chopped up here, dump them in here. We'll take our celery and dump in. All right. Now for our good old onions. And now for our sweet relish. Okay, now I got a half a cup of sweet relish here. Put it down in there. Okay, now I'll put a little salt and pepper in it. I'll stir it up. Now we'll go add some mayo to it. Keep on stirring it here in a minute. All right, we're going to start out with about half a cup of mayonnaise here. And we'll see what that looks like, see if we need to add some more. Well, this is looking pretty good right here. I know most of you probably knows how to make tuna salad. But this is just a little different than most. And I thought while well, everybody was at home and needed something to snack on, this thing was so fattening. Won't hurt you but so much. There ain't nothing bad in it I don't reckon except maybe the mayonnaise. And you could get some mayonnaise light. <laughs> oh, this is turning out good, good. Get you a box of crackers and sit down in front of the TV. Okay, now there you have it. This is uh, our version of some good old tuna salad. Kay likes uh, regular saltines here. And I really prefer the rips over here. So we just go in there now and sit down and kick back and just snack all day long, you know. Like I say, it might be something good for your kids. And so, or yourself too. And so that's about it for this little video. And thank you very much for watching. We sure appreciate it. I hope you watch more of them. And come back and see us real soon. Stay safe and don't forget, wash your hands and stay away from people. You know, wash your own hands and stay away from everybody. So until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day now. Goodbye.